Hello everyone. My name is Alex. I work for Alavar. We are from Russia, which is located just on north of Singapore. And my today's presentation is about Russian market of mobile applications. But we before we, we start to talk about the market, I'd like to say a few words about the economic, uh, economic geography of the country. Russia has huge territory. It's home for 145 million people. And uh, everyone knows Moscow is the capital of Russia. But in fact, Moscow is the financial capital of Russia and to be honest, the one of the most expensive cities in the world. If you plan to spend all your money, please come to Moscow. St. Petersburg is the cultural capital of Russia. And there's so many beautiful palaces and cultural events. By the way, if you plan to visit this place, the best time is uh, white nights in June. And uh, if you plan to visit some masterpieces of Leonardo da Vinci, please come to St. Petersburg. Yakutsk is the diamond capital of Russia, but be careful to visit this place in winter because the average temperature in this place in this season is around 50 degrees Celsius with minus, of course. And Sakhalin, this is Gazprom area, uh, this is gas capital of Russia, and you know, east north of Russia, there are oil fields. My hometown, Novosibirsk, is a geographical center of Russia. There is no oil, no diamonds, no gas, and our all, all main resources are brains, but not because all our residents are zombies. Uh, Novosibirsk is, has a great technical uh, potential. That's why Novosibirsk is the IT capital of Russia. No wonder uh, our company, Alavar, was founded in this city and for 14 years our headquarters is located in scientific center of Novosibirsk. Well, let's return to the market. According to statistics, Russia has 61 million adult internet users. There is more than the half of all adult population in the country. In towns with 100,000 population, 94% are internet users, and this market is growing 10% per year. This rapid growth is connected with uh, spread of internet of mobile internet and uh, every third uh, user serves internet via his mobile gadget. Half of all mo mobile internet users are smartphone owners and uh, just one year ago feature phones were market leaders but now they're market share went down to 34%. Uh, the market share of uh, tablets, vice versa, is growing. Today it's 16%. Russian market of mobile applications uh, is uh, like worldwide market, is a market of two operation systems, iOS and Android. 60% uh, of all mobile internet users in Russia are iOS and uh, Android gadgets owners. Just one year ago, their market share was 42%. So they have, uh, last year, they have, uh, they had 50% growth. More and more Russians use application stores, and there is no competition for uh, Google Play and uh, Apple App Store. Alternative stores have not found their niche yet. As Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, said. Uh, monthly revenue of uh, worldwide Apple App Store is one billion dollars, and according to Apenny, two percent of this market is Russian market. Everyone knows Apple celebrates now 50 billion downloads, and four downloads are downloads from Russia. Russian market of mobile applications is in top ten, the biggest markets in the world, and Russian Google Play is number four in the world. But with all attractiveness, our, our market is very specific. 
and it's all about audience. At first, Russians speak Russian only. Only 7% of uh, Russians can say I speak foreign language. And they're extremely picky to the quality of uh, speech terms, punctuation, syntax. If your game is well made, uh, has a nice graphics and uh, interesting gameplay, but localization is not perfect, Russian can consider the, the game is bad and uh, made low rates. They need 24 hours, seven days a week support and they expect their problem will be solved and uh, they receive an answer from publisher or have discussion with publisher, publisher in their native language. Otherwise, they can make revenge with low rates and bad comments. The quality of, of, com of comments and ratings are crucial for Russians in the decision to install the application. And uh, Russians want to have uh, individual service and they used to have it. It was all about audience. And what about Russian publishers? There is a problem for new market player uh, to promote his game because uh, market is divided be between the main players who are not ready to share their audience even for improvement their monetization. Uh, Russian publisher is more likely to work without any profit than uh, sell his traffic. That's why there's not enough traffic in the market and this price is growing very fast. Well, how you can make money in Russian market? The most reasonable way is a partnership with local Russian publish publisher who knows specificity very well and who is a marketing expert. For example, Facebook is not number one or, or even number two or number three social net in Russia. And if you plan any social media marketing activities, you have to work with local social nets. It's the same way as Many European companies have a partnership with uh, local publishers in Russia, and we expect the tendency when successful Asian applications have a distribution uh, through Russian publisher in Russia. So now it's time to say a few words why it would be interesting, profitable to work with Alavar in Russian market. We are 14 years in the market. We started with PC casual downloadable content. In 2009, we released our first iPhone games, and in 2010, first Android games. Our games reached Russian tops regularly. Please look at the screen. This is last two months examples. We are looking for uh, high-quality free-to-play content to monetize our audience better. If the game ha has a good results in Asia market, we are ready to invest money in the marketing game promotion of this game in Russian market. We synchronize all our activities with IP owner. Uh, all activities would be clear for our partner. We support all events inside the game and organize QA process for updates. We provide customer support and uh, make high quality content, uh, high quality localizations for the game. In other words, we will do all the best to improve revenue and profit of the game. This is it. My presentation is very short. But if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. And I have special present for first question from Russia with love. Please. Um, I'm Lior with Product Madness. Uh, thanks, Alex, for sharing that. Uh, how big is the opportunity? Can you tell, for example, in ho how much money is a top-grossing application on iOS and Android are are, are making? Um, so, what's what's the potential and upside in Russia? It, no, it, it depends. It depends on application. If it's free-to-play application, it's uh, if it's uh, premium application. Uh, we we can see some application can make making Apple App Store. 
ten thousand dollars per per day, for example. Have I, have I answered? So, so like the number one grossing application in Russia is making right now ten thousand dollars a day. Uh, this is yes, around ten. Okay, thank you. Hi, uh, Hi. I have a question. Uh, how many, uh, mainly the, uh, mainly the, uh, uh, sorry, my English is broken. <laughs> uh, two, uh, 2G or 3G is the mainly the user, internet user? Yes, we, 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 uh, we have, uh, if I understood your question correctly, you ask about 3G net? Or yes, 3G net or Yes, we, we have very good 3G net coverage in Russia. Uh -huh. And, uh, uh, good uh, quality of free public Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. practically no public places, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the size of game is not so, uh, so important than the size of game in, in Asia, for example. You mean the, uh, I, I think the uh, last five years uh, everything changed, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So where is the guy who asked the first question? I want to present him my present. No. He disappeared. So, okay. <laughs> Could you present the, this T-shirt for, for, for the guy who asked second question? Oh, sorry. You, you moved, yeah. <laughs> Uh, hi, Alexander from Soft Games. Um, so hi. I know that uh, in Russia there's a quite big business also for web-based games, especially for mobile devices. Um, mm -hmm. Like, how is uh, the transformation currently done uh, f to the smartphone business? I think I know that you experimented a bit with HTML5, but um, can you just share some information about this? Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, if you work with in with uh, HTML5, you spe I expect you work with uh, Facebook, yes? Or not? Uh, with, with Facebook, Google yes, not only Facebook. Um, so we also work with Autoclassniki, for example. And no. uh, To be honest, we have several experiments with HTML5. I can't say it was successful. Anyway, uh, iOS and Android are market leaders now. Why was that successful? Because traffic was missing or can just... Uh, I think uh, I can't understand why. Uh, first, uh, we focused on iOS and Android, and uh, HTML5 was just experiment for us. Thank you for a good uh, informative presentation. Uh, uh, my question is that what is the best way to monetize in uh, Russian? Uh, means uh, in a purchase, in a billing, or advertisement, or something like that? Uh, we use two ways. Uh, we work with offer walls to monetize our, uh, our games. And uh, of course, it's in a purchases. For some games, uh, uh, in a purchases, could have 100 percent of revenue for some games could be 50. Uh, Fiji is a bigger than uh, in the budgets and the advertisement. Sorry, could you repeat, please? Uh, so, Fitch <coughs> uh, is uh, the easiest and the, uh, the bigger uh, means uh, in the budgets and the advertisement, which is uh, the big sales. If I understood you correctly, uh, anyway, you, if, if you want to make money in Russian market, anyway, you should work with, uh, you, you should uh, use in-app purchases. Of course, this is the main uh, way to, to make money inside the game. Okay, thanks so much. Mm -hmm, thank you. So, I, l I want to leave several, my business cards, and if you, have any questions? Please email me, call by phone, or ask questions via Skype. Thank you.